the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. And my name's Connor Williams. And if you're watching this, it means that we have made our second signing of the transfer window. Um, if you don't count Tarkowski on a free, um, the first, but this is the second. It's the first one, though, that we've done with another club. Whereas Tarkowski, we got for, like I said, for free. So he was a free agent. We got him on a Bosman. Um, so this is the first one where a deal's been done to get him in with another club. Um, and it is Ruben Benagri on loan from Sporting. Yeah, um, an interesting one, isn't it? it? It highlights a couple of um, a couple of things with the future of certain players. Um, well, a player. Uh, and yeah, we'll look a little bit into his sporting career. I, by the time you're watching this, potentially my uh, the video will have been out with Aaron from Proxima Jornada. Um, lovely, lovely lad, Aaron, that is. Not, not Vinagre, I'm sure he's nice. Lovely lad, Scouse, um, Everton fan as well. Scouser, um does Portuguese. He's a Portuguese journalist. So he was looking at from both sides, professionally as a Portuguese journalist and as an Everton fan. So go check that out. Really good talk. Bit of an eye-opener for a man that we might remember from his Wolves days, and I'll get into his Wolves ones, his Wolves career stats as well. Um, so yeah, looking back on his Premier League um, time, he played 17 games in 1819, 16 in 1920, and then only two in um, 2021. So in that, we'll play. We'll go off the one where he had the most games. So in the 1819 season, which I believe is that season where everyone was raving about Wolves as well, because all first new teams do well. Um, he got seven starts, subbed in for 10, subbed out for three, played 710 minutes, got one yellow card, three shots on target, created six chances, total passes 286, attempted dribbles 20, only 13 of them successful, 14 tackles attempted, only nine of them successful, 13 clearances, etc. Um, now we'll go into um, during his loan spell because you'll probably be going, Connor, he's 23 and you're bringing up stuff from when he was 18. Uh, behave and um, you'd be right to say that because that is a bit harsh to judge him from something that was like you know four years ago now um god yeah four years four years ago time flies so we'll go off his seasons in portugal this is the premier Liga, so pinch of salt because i don't think it's as tough of a league as the prem we'll go off his loan season for these which is what made them get him uh, he played 20 games um for them. He also played in the Champions League as well, but would, um, which we'll delve into a little bit because that's obviously harder games. 20, got three assists, three yellow cards. Um, he played 20 of them as well. He was subbed out for eight. Got 1,636 minutes. Uh, even managed to get some XG of a 0 0.4. Uh, made three assists, created 23 chances. 76 attempted dribbles, 40 of them successful. So more than half of them were successful. Attempted tackles, 22. Uh, successful 12, so again, pretty much uh, just over half his tackles won. 23 clearances, 80, uh, 18 interceptions. He said 83 then. Uh, he's also played in the Europa League. He got eight games in Europa League in 1920. That'll have been with Wolves. Um, and he played in the Champions League twice in two times. Um, 22 minutes in one Champions in those ones, and then mm, 64 in another. Um, one of these interest, the stats aren't that good, so I won't read them out to you. You don't need to know that. Interestingly, when I was speaking to Aaron, he said um, that actually, interestingly enough, um, Vinagre did well at sport, uh, did the best at Famalico, um, didn't do too well at Olympic Chaos. He's been everywhere. He's been Monaco, Wolves, Olympic Chaos, etc. He said he did play well at Sporting, but he then found himself out of favour because they played Ajax in the Champions League. And Anthony, who's a very, very good player, um, the right winger for Ajax, the Brazilian, who we were linked with a couple of seasons ago. Now it's a pipe dream. Um, tore him apart, absolutely tore him apart. And then the sporting manager sort of lost a little bit of faith in him. Um, I think he very much is a bit like Nkunku. And I think him coming in shows that we have no faith in Nkunku. Um, but in that terms of he's he can play left mid left wing left but a bit like and even someone said even maybe left mid of the midfield. Um, so the best way to sum him up from what I can gather is 
positionally. He's like Zinchenko, can play left, anywhere across that left into the centre. Talent-wise, he's not, I don't think he's as good as Sinchenko, and he's the, um, he's better than Nkunku, but shares the same problems as Nkunku, so he's good going forward as a ball carrier, but his final third decision-making is a bit dubious, and his defensive work is dubious. He's better off as a left wing-back, because you have that freedom of, you're not going to go full, you're not a winger, so you're not expected to do the winger's job of a final third as much. And you don't need to be defensively as sound as if you were in a flat four as a left back because you have your centre backs and are free to cover you, your free centre backs, which is good news as well. Um, so, yeah, I think he will be. I don't think he'll get much game time for us unless Mikalinko is injured or rest him or Lampard just thinks we need that little bit more going down that left. I don't think he pushes Mikalenko out. I'm almost. Going to bet my money, though, that he does see um, Nkunku out of the squad. Um, to be fair, guys, if you watch this channel long enough and regularly enough, you know I always forget that Nkunku's at Everton. Every time we link with a left back, I go, well, we've only got one left back at Everton, and it's Mikalenko, so we do need a backup. And then people in the comments will go, Connie, you forget Nkunku. And I do just forget him because he's been out on loan. But clearly, the club aren't that impressed, or Lampard and co aren't that impressed with him. Uh, I always thought he looked he looked fast, he had pace, he looked good going forward, um, but I did think he looked a bit a bit worrying on the defensive, but uh, again, you'd have played him in the same system that Benagre is going to be played in, where he'd have a third, you know, three centre-backs behind him to fill that gap. Um, but alas, yeah, interesting, this is a loan deal with the option, not the obligation, big difference, we don't have to buy him. Obligation is what Moise Keane's contract at Juventus is, and they're really regretting it. Option is it's entirely up to Everton and how well Vinagre impresses. For me, his wages as well are that small that Everton are fully willing to pay them all in full. Low risk. It could be low reward, could be medium reward, could be high reward. You never know. Low risk, though. So even if it's low reward, we'd not actually, we've, we've made worse investments in this squad and were more expensive, and that's not, you know. So, yeah, for me, it's all right. I, don't, I can't say I think he's going to set the world alight. I also, um, but then I can't say he definitely won't be won't be a bit of a, you know, he won't be bad. But even if he is, he's only on loan. We're just sending back. No problems, no qualms. So, yeah, very, very clever, sensible by Everton, really. Um, and hopefully this gets a ball rolling. Now, I'm quite excited. This is the first one of this season that we can do other than Tarkowski, so the second. Um, but the first one where we bought a player, or, well, loaned a player. So, obviously, all things come in freeze. Got a free transfer for the first one, loan for the second. Next one's going to be a transfer, boys. It'll be Dennis. You never know, probably Dennis. So, um, I'll, yeah, I'll see you guys for Dennis. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And comment down below, let me know your thoughts on Vinagre. Do you remember him at Wolves? Do you like him? More than anything, do you think this deal's sensible for us? Um, and like I said, I'll probably see you for the Dennis one.